Strathcona County Library and today I'm going to show you how to fold a paper crane. So we're going to fold the crane using a traditional Japanese art form called origami. Um, you may have heard of the book Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes. This is a book about a girl who has leukemia and she's really sick and her only wish is to get better. So in order to try and fulfill her wish, she folds a thousand paper cranes. This is a Japanese legend that if you fold a thousand paper cranes, that your wish will come true. And so I thought today we could all fold one crane and hopefully a thousand people will see it and all of our wishes will come true. So come on, let's go figure out how to fold a crane. So to make a paper crane, you're going to need a square piece of paper. I have origami paper here. But if you don't have origami paper at home, that's fine. You can just take a regular piece of printer paper. You can fold the edge over so that this edge here lines up with this edge here. You can fold it over and then you'll notice there's a rectangle here. So you want to line your ruler up against this edge of folded paper and draw a line. And then you can unfold it and you can cut this extra piece off and this will make a nice square. But I'm just going to use origami paper in this demonstration. So we're going to take this corner and we're going to fold it over so that it matches this corner. We want to make sure our folds are nice and tight. that our edges line up really well before we push down on our fold. Okay, so I'm going to unfold it and we're going to do the same thing with the opposite corners. So corner to corner, try and line up the edges pretty well and make a nice flatten the fold really well. Okay, so now we're going to take this triangle that we've made we're going to fold this corner over to match this corner. Let's flip it around this way. So now we're going to take this folded corner right here and we're going to open it up and squish it down so that we make a nice diamond shape this. Okay, so then we're going to flip it over. We're going to do the same thing with the other corner. So pick it up. I'm going to stick my thumb in there, kind of open it up a little bit, and then squish it down. You just want to make sure again that your folds kind of meet up along the edges here. So now I'm going to stick my thumb in this flap now that I've made and I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to stick my pinky in there. It's a little smaller. And we're going to flatten this piece down. Fold this edge into oops, this edge into this edge. Oops, I'm a little bit. It's okay. One thing I'm going to do to help myself out here is actually take this corner and fold it down so it matches up with this fold line here that you can't really see. And that'll make it a little bit easier. There we go. A little rip doesn't matter so much. You can always fix that later going to be our wing. See. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. 
I'm gonna fold it tip back down here to meet up with this line. Again, you can't really see it, but it's there. I'm gonna stick my pinky way up in the corner here. And this might be a little tricky, like you might need to get some help from an adult or something. I find this is kind of the hardest part. the wings and now we're ready to make the rest of it so we're going to kind of open up this flap here we're going to stick our finger in it and then we're going to push up with our thumb so then it kind of folds this inside out okay so that's going to make one end of our crane and then we're going to do the same thing flip it around do the same thing on the other side just kind of Invert that fold, so flip it inside out. And so now you can just decide which end you'd like to be the head. So I think this end is going to be my head. I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to push up at the same time as I push down so that this fold kind of turns inside out. You see what I did there? The fold was like this. And now I'm going to stick my finger, kind of pull up the other two fingers to make a head. Another way you can do this if you find that too hard is you can just um, kind of twist it. So twist it and make a fold like this. And there you have your crane. So hopefully this uh, tutorial works out for you. And if you would like, please post um, pictures of it on our Facebook page. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.